molding a face cast using Platsil Gel 25. Now in a previous video we showed how to take a basic face mold off of a subject using AccuCast 590 Alginate. And then we also showed how to create a HydroCal positive. And if you're unfamiliar with that process you can click on the link there and that will take you over to that tutorial. But once you've got that HydroCal positive you're ready to clean that up and then duplicate that cast. Because many times if you're working with uh, prosthetics or if you're going to make a cold cast bronze you will need a silicone mold to reproduce resin positives or other gypsum positives for prosthetic work. Now we're going to show a very simplified uh, streamlined process for this but one of the steps that's important to prosthetic work is you need to have the life cast keyed so that it will later fit into the negative mold. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use some water-based clay to uh, seam the edge of where our life cast meets the foam core and I used a, a little oval of foam core to uh, to give a base for my piece so it will sit in the mold and that will make a little more sense later on when you see the negative mold. And then I'm also going to create some corner shaped keys sticking out at uh, right angles from the piece and again those will help it align with the negative mold later on. So we're just going to take some water-based clay and shape that into little corners, little right angles sticking up from the surface there and cut those off with a cleanup tool and now ready to release our HydroCal positive. Now 